I am so excited about this production coming to Salford. I saw it in London in the West End. It's just phenomenal. I mean, it's a feast for the eyes. How does it feel for you being in this production? I know you're in rehearsals at the moment, but it must be an incredibly exciting feeling to be bringing this to stage on tour. It's really exciting and, and I feel incredibly lucky to be in it. And what's really nice about my part in it is that I do sort of quite set contained scenes and then I get to sit there and watch it. And I mean, it's, it's so phenomenally exciting watching, yeah. it all, watching it all sort of develop in front of you. Because you play old Mrs. Hemstock, and I, I don't want to give too much away about her, but she is quite a character. And when we say old, she's yeah. very old. Yeah, she's, she's a billion old. years old. Yeah, yeah, I know. So physically, yeah. that must be challenging as an actress to kind of get those movements and get that feel of her. It is, it is, but Katie Rudd, who's directed it, very much wants to retain that thing that a lot of old people have, of having quite a childlike quality to them. Um, so I, I hope I'm getting it right. I mean, you know, I, I turned 50 in September and got offered the part of a billion-year-old woman, so I don't know quite what that says about me. <laughs> that, that's really nice of them to say. Finty! The time yeah. is right. You'll be good in this role. Yeah, you're so old now that you can play this part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's a very nice, rich character. Like I say, it's hard not to give it away. But I would, I would say, if I were to put this show in a nutshell, it's kind of the mixture between imagination and reality. Yeah. There's a lot of emotion in it. And as well, kind of friendship and, and grief. Yeah, I think I think you you're absolutely spot on. I think it's a story about um, a very real thing that happens to a young boy, um, and and how a fantastical world allows him to explore the feelings of grief and loss and friendship and acceptance. Um, I think yeah, it's really hard not to not to give any of it away, but. It is I a think that's spectacle. the best way to describe it. It is kind of like all multi-sensory because you've got the powerfulness of, of the acting, but with this, you've also got kind of the lighting, the sound and the puppets. What was your first reaction to kind of getting used to those puppets, Vinti? Well, I don't, I, I personally don't have very, I don't have to work any of the puppets, which is probably a very good thing. Um, but, but you see them, don't you? You're very. But I see them. I, I see them, and that's like it's beyond exciting, and it's beyond a privilege to be working with people who just have the ability to bring these things to life and make it so that you don't look at the person working it; you just look at the puppet. But you know, we did a run through of the first half. Uh, I think a week ago, and. I mean, I just, I forgot that I was sitting in a rehearsal room watching people that I knew. I got so excited that at one point I shouted out. <laughs> but I got so involved in it and it's breathtaking. The scale of these puppets, the brilliance of, you know, Gareth and Jess who put the movement and the puppets together. The, the astonishing brilliance of the people who work them. I mean, they're they're in a, a different league. I've called them the super people. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that reminds me of when I went to see it. You said you called out in rehearsals. I jumped out of my seat at one particular moment. And yeah. you went to see it, didn't you, in the West End before? I did, because board. a very good friend of mine was playing Ginny. So yeah. my daughter in the play, a very dear friend of mine was playing her. So. Gosh. So what was that like? What were your first impressions then of seeing it before coming on board? Were you blown away? So I, I didn't know that I was going to be part of it this year. I saw it, I think, at the beginning of last year. And uh, I just, I, I had the same feeling that I had when I saw Warhorse, that you're 
head tells you that what you're looking at are puppets and people working them, but your heart totally takes over and tells you that it's totally real. And, and that's what I think is so vitally important about this, this play and taking this play on tour, because I think, I think a lot of us have got very used to over the past two years, and I totally include myself, in watching films where we accept CGI and all the, the clever and brilliant things that film and television can do, we've accepted it much more. And so when you come to the theatre, you have to work that little bit harder to, to sort of meet it halfway. But then, I mean, I say you've got to work harder. I, I, I just, I literally am blown away by it. And I'm in it. I'm so lucky. There is nothing like that theatre experience. And I think it just, it takes you to another world when you're watching something at the theatre. And it's so incredible that we got it back after covid yeah. and and for me being in the north when we see productions like this and this standard go on tour it gives people the opportunity that may not get to go to london to see these shows absolutely and i think you know i think i think for a lot of younger people i think it's a really important story to watch and and also, I love the fact that, you know, you can't sit and film it or you can't be on your phone whilst you're watching it. You have to give it your full attention. Yeah. And, and, and that you and however many people are in that theatre have that one experience that one night. Because it won't be the same the next night. No, no, absolutely. And we get you here in Salford. Have you ever been to the Lower before, Finty? I've never been to the Lowry, but my dad was born in Salford. Oh, fantastic. Because, yeah. of course, your dad, Michael Williams, an incredible, incredible actor. Well, do you know what? I thought he was special. That's because he's from Salford. <laughs> <laughs> it absolutely is. Oh, yeah. wow. So, so I'm really ever, looking forward to going back. Did you ever get to spend time with him in Salford and, and, and a visit? Did he, did he ever get to return, do you think? Uh, he did. I know he did, but I never went with him. Um, so it, it's a kind of bittersweet thing. I wish that I could know where he lived and, you know, be able to visit. He'd have loved the Lowry and the fact then that we get that kind of arts, because I imagine growing up, you know, at that time in Salford, there, there wasn't as many opportunities for the arts. No, I don't think there were at all which is amazing. Um, I've got to mention your mum as well, because I'm sure she'll be proud as punch to come and see you. I believe Little Bird told me she might be visiting you in Bath. Am I right, Finty? I think so. I think I think she'll come and stay with me in Bath um, and see the show. It's been very hard. You know, She, I speak to her every evening. She's like, what have you done today? And you go, well, I could tell you what I've done today, but A, you wouldn't understand it. And B, I don't want to spoil it because she never saw it. So, yeah, you can't, you can't give the game away. You need that, yeah. that first reaction. Is it, is it hard having your mum watch you and kind of run lines with the because of, you know, the, the fact that she is one of the, the most well-respected actresses that we've got over here? It's... Um, well, very sadly, she can't see anymore. Uh, so I couldn't run lines with her. But when I used to, I, I learned quite early on that um, she used to give quite a few notes. <laughs> so um, I, I, I learned quite early on not to do that. But uh, it, it's an, just like for everybody when their mama comes to see them do something, uh, it's, it's a wonderful thing and it's a huge privilege. And... Um, I guess the only thing that's a bit different that I've, I've only ever noticed is that if I'm doing a comedy, that depending on the size of the theatre, people sort of don't laugh until they see or hear her laugh. It's a very odd phenomenon. I can't describe it in any other way, but it, it is true. 
Oh, uh, well, I'm glad it's not a comedy. That yes, you're... it's not a comedy. It's, it's definitely, definitely not a comedy. It's definitely not a comedy. Although, I've got to say, I did laugh at you all in the current Louis Theroux documentary. I've got to say, doing the TikTok in the back garden, it yeah. was just a genius, genius moment. Is Louis Theroux now your best friend, Finty? Uh, I would like him to be my best friend, yes. He's he turned uh, nine as well. He's, yeah, absolutely. He's a really, really nice person. And I I sat at home and, and watched the documentary. It was actually, it was the night my son moved to his first flat. So I packed him up and packed him off. And then I sat and watched the Louis Theroux documentary. And uh, my boyfriend came in about 20 minutes after it had started and said, darling, do you really think this is a good idea for you to be watching this tonight? Because I was just howling with tears. But yeah. I think he really captured something about Ma that, well, the best way I can put it is that that what he captured was the person I know. Yeah, I, I absolutely, having watched it myself, I was just like, it was joyous. Yeah. It was joyous to see her and kind of real, if, if that makes sense. It really, Total and sense. I tell you what, she is so quick so cool oh, yeah she may not be able to see but nothing gets past her oh i think the parrot got too much airtime personally but there we go yeah but you gotta love a parrot you know you gotta love a parrot 